Hello and welcome back everyone. The focus of this video would be on the proving that the binary search that have been designed is correct. So basically given that algorithm is designed, we need to prove the correctness of the algorithm so that it works for all the test cases or all the cases. So let's see how the proof will be constructed using the algorithm. So here is the pseudocode of the binary search where the input is of size 1 to n present in an array and then the range of the array is considered or the indices. So low will be pointing at the first index that is a of 1 and high will be pointing at a of n and x is the query that for that query whether that element is present in array or not. Now the line from line number 1 to 5 it is basically about single element whether that single element is based on the query asked is present or not. If that is present then we return that index or we say that it is not found. But before starting any algorithm precondition has to be assumed or condition is set. So for that the condition is the value of low and high has to be less than n and low has to be less than i but greater than 1. That's the first condition. And second condition is based on the assumption that the elements should be sorted. So that is the condition, precondition. Now once this precondition is done, then only we can start looking at uh, all the pseudo code. Now from line 1 to 5 is for single element. Now what if the number of element is more than 1? So for that the following piece of code will work out or will be executed where we calculate mid using the low plus high by 2 or other way around also you can do high minus low plus 1 by 2 where plus 1 is added in case you are using 0 based indexing then this will become 0 to n minus 1 ok now once this is executed for that we require post condition post condition is whether the, based on the given query x that element is present in the array or not if that is present return that so post condition will be for i that is for each i which will be from low to high based on the precondition of this range and now the range will be from low to high as I shown in the half like first half will be low to mid and something. So this is one condition. Another condition is if the element is found based on the query asked. So it should return that value indices. So it should return i which we have seen in the single element. Similar has to be done with the uh, more than one element present in an array. So we need to return this indices. In case that is not there, then we need to print not found. So that becomes the post condition for executing the binary search. So based on the query, based on the mid value and 
based on the query asked we can determine whether to move in the lower half or the higher half if it is in the higher half then means the value of mid is greater than the query so it should be on the lower half so we will search on the lower half where low to mid will be considered and then the query will be passed which is x else it will be search on the higher half which can take the value from mid plus 1 to high and this is how the binary search pseudo code is written now let's look at the correctness of this algorithm so for that we are going to use prove by induction method what does this method say that if it there are three stages of proving by induction method first is the assertion what assertion assertion you are making then second is that the base step then followed by the base step inductive step is done means it means checking for all the instances and if it is that is true then one can say that the method will work for all the cases if that doesn't work then we cannot say that this is this will work for only special case so we can only say that let's see if this works for all the method or not for that first assertion is that set of inputs or the size of the input should be greater than equal to 0 this is the assertion made and then only pre condition and post conditions of the algorithm will be checked the pre condition is satisfied then only post condition will be satisfied so for checking the pre condition size of the input has to be greater than 0 that is the assertion made now let's look at the base case base case is where we say that high minus low is equal to 0 that is no inputs are being considered then high will be equal to low and if you look at the pre condition stage pre condition step where i is equal to low so this condition is met and then so this is correct and based on this step algorithm will execute this step from step number 2 to step number 5 now we have checked the pre condition is satisfied now to check uh, that post condition also needs to be satisfied for that line number 2 to line number 5 will be executed so now we will check if for any i for i which will be between low to high because this is the post condition now we need to prove that this is also correct so as we are discussing the base case so here it will be set to means low and high will be equal and based on that we can check whether this is true or not if this is true then we can work it out the inductive step and then the hypothesis step whether the hypo uh, 
means whether it, it will work for all the instances or it will work for the special instances. And then, so this will be equal to x. So this will work. So we are not worried about the post condition right now because there are no elements. But just to keep in mind that post condition has to be checked. So this also is satisfied and this is also satisfied based on the base condition where size of the input is zero. In the base case or in the base step, we have proved regarding the mid value. So this is regarding the mid value if a of mid is equal to x. So this is the base case for which line number 2 to line number 5 is executed in the pseudo code. And now moving on to the inductive step where there can be more than one element or one input. Our objective here is to prove high minus low is greater than S. Since in the means like single element like the mid value was equal to the query. So we figured out we have set the value of S to 0 here. But in this case S will be greater than 1. So accordingly that has to be made. So here either high can be greater or low can be greater. So that becomes two cases. Case one is where low is less than high. So this means high will be giving the high greater value. So let's see. And the number of recursive calls has to be between 0 to S minus 1. That is determined. Because if it is more than S, that means some there is some mistake in the code and as stated that the line number 7 that is low plus high by 2 is, is the first step which is to be executed and then it is compared with the query x. So let's say that uh, it can either take two values means it will be executing line number 11 or line number 9. So based on that the mid value means it, it gives us the range of the mid value. So the mid value will be low plus low by 2. Why low? Because this is the starting value and high is basically set to the means if it the, there are zero calls so low will have means high will be the same as the low so that becomes the low value in case there are more than one recursive call then it will become s minus 1 so s is basically high minus 1 so this is basically high minus 1. So now we need to prove that recursive calls will basically lie within this range 0 to s minus 1. And once this is established, we can establish that precondition is falling within this range. And once precondition is established for both the cases, low less than high and high greater than low in both the cases then precondition can be established if there is any mistake in this kindly comment down so now we are dealing with the case where mid can have the two value low and high minus one and the focus is on the line number nine which is binary search a low mid x so this is the case that we are currently dealing now and high is will now have the value of mid and low will have the value of l will have the value of low. 
तो लेट्स कॉल दिस एच डैश बिकॉज दिस विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू कंपेयर द पोस्ट कंडीशन एज वेल सो वी आर कॉलिंग एज एस एच डैश एंड एल डैश एंड यर एच डैश इज मिड सो मिड माइनस लो सो नाउ सिंस मिड हैज द टू वैल्यू सो इफ इट इज लो देन इट बिकम्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ रिकर्सिव कॉल इफ द मिड इज कंसिडर्ड एज हाई माइनस वन सो दिस बिकम्स एस माइनस वन माइनस लो हाई माइनस वन माइनस लो सो दिस बेसिकली बिकम्स द रिकर्सिव कॉल नंबर ऑफ रिकर्सिव कॉल एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस एच डैश will always be less than l dash and this precondition is established or working out for x less than a of mid now whether it is working for the second case as well if it is not then we cannot say that uh, means it will work only for the special case both are stat satisfied then we can say that it will completely work it out so case 2 is where x is greater than a of mid that is high is greater than low and the focus will be on the execution of line number 11 which is a of mid plus 1 to high in that half we are going to focus so let's call this as h double dash l double dash and this will be i minus i plus 1 because mid here is considered as i minus 1 so this will become greater than 0 or then i here minus low mid here will be considered as low so this will become s minus 1 so precondition is work it out established now post condition so if so there becomes case three cases if x equal to a of mid then line number 2 to 5 will be executed case 2 if x is less than a of mid in that case we need to check it out so for that case l dash will be less than h dash and l double dash will be less than or equal to h double dash so once this is done so we can say that either it will fall in this half or it will fall in this half so based on this this is going to fall on the first half and case 3 x is greater than a of mid then it becomes h dash is greater than mid and h double dash is greater than mid plus 1 so this will fall in the second half so this is the proof of binary search in case of any confusion kindly post your queries in the comment box 